come in and see the new exhibition. Follow me. Come this way. Welcome. This is our new exhibition, Fire Figures. And we're here to do a Bloomsbury Festival special video for you. Alexi Peskin is our artist and he makes beautiful, big sculptures of lots of different faces. But we have one artwork that's not a face. Can you see which one it is? This one over here. This is a giant landscape and it's a table mountain in Cape Town. Alexis Peskin, he makes his work all inspired by places that he travels. I wonder what they are made of. Because I said they weren't paintings. Come and have a little closer look. This big cabin is a huge installation. I wonder what this is all made of. What do you think? It's made of wood. And every single little dot, it's not just painting, it's actually made with a nail, a hammer and a nail. And the artist has made gold leaf on each of the nails so they shine gold and bright. So today we're going to go on an adventure with Danny to Table Mountain and then we're going to make some art inspired by Alexi's work. It's great to see you. My name is Danny the Storyteller and I'm here for October Gallery as part of the Bloomsbury Festival. I'm so glad you've joined us. Octobi, our octopus here, is here too and he loves an adventure and I hope you do too. Now Georgie was just telling you all about our exhibition and the artist Alexi Pesky. Now Alexi likes to make pictures and art of the travels he's been on and today is all about Cape Town. Now in a moment we're going to go on an adventure. We're going to pretend to leave the October Gallery and go to Cape Town. I hope you'll come too. But first, let's do a few claps. Rub your hands together, warm ourselves up. Can you show me a fast, fast clap? If that was a fast clap, can you show me a slow clap? So slow. Now, on our adventure, we might be going up high. So show me a high clap, as high as you can go. Up high and down low. We might have to come down low again. <laughs> well done to you. Good job. Pat on the back. Now, when we have our adventure, we're going to use a part of our brain called our I -I imagination. And I bet you're really good at it. It's when you pretend things, make things up, which is what artists are doing all the time. They have an idea and they create. They have a vision. And that's what we're going to use today to go to Cape Town. Without further ado, Octobi, and you, let's go. We're going to spin our hands, and when we spin, we'll be right in Cape Town, in South Africa. Ready? Spin your hands forwards and backwards. High, low, fast, and slow. Then close your eyes and count to three. One, two, three. Open your eyes. Whoa! Oh, excuse me. Excuse me. Oh, excuse me. Wow! How tall is that building? Well, here we are in a very busy Cape Town with people, people everywhere and buildings high into the sky. And oh, I can't really see any of it. I'd like to have a good look, but we're so small, we need to find somewhere tall. I know just the place. In Cape Town, 
is a mountain. A beautiful, enormous mountain called Table Mountain. I wonder if you can guess why. Have a little look at the top of it. What do you think? <laughs> That's right. It looks like a table. A table where a giant could eat their dinner. And it's right here in Cape Town. And it's so beautiful. Alexi made a beautiful picture of it too. You'll see that later on. <laughs> now, we are going to try and get to the top of this mountain. This mountain is huge, over 1,000 metres tall at its highest point. Maybe we should climb that bit. It's also very, very old. 600 million years, some of the rocks are. How old are you? <laughs> are you older or younger than Table Mountain? <laughs> yes, much younger, by a long, long way. Now, okay, uh, let's make our way. Can you turn your arm into the ground and get your two fingers for your legs? Let's make our way to Table Mountain. Through the houses, through the buildings, past the people, and into the National Park of Table Mountain. Beautiful! But looking up high, whoop, oh, it's a very long way to go. I wonder how to get there. Hang on a minute. Oh. Hello. <laughs> Hi, everybody. It's Georgie. Hi, Georgie. <laughs> Fancy meeting you here, Georgie, in the middle of Cape Town, a table mountain. Great to see you. Uh, Georgie, have you been at the top of the mountain? I have. <gasps> it was amazing. The views were stunning. Um, and uh, we got there by going in the cable car. Oh, I've heard about that. Uh, thanks, Georgie. Uh, I'm really glad you've been, and, and maybe we'll catch you later. Yeah, okay. bye. bye. Bye, everyone. Fancy meeting Georgie here. What a treat. Now, Georgie went in the cable car, but um, I think we're going to climb up. Show me your climbing arms. Okay. Now, I've got the climbing sound. When you hear it, I want you with your arms, and you can use your legs if you like to, to climb, 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 climb all the way to the top of Table Mountain. We might have a break on the way though. It's very high. Are you ready? Show me your arms. Here we go. Ready to climb. Wipe the sweat from your brow and let's have a little break. <laughs> You're doing very well. Halfway up, not bad at all. And looking, ooh, I see guinea pigs. Hundreds of guinea pigs everywhere. Mm. I'll take a picture. <laughs> How cute are those? In fact, they're not guinea pigs at all. <laughs> They're called marmots and they are the most popular animal on Table Mountain. They're just all around. They've got very big teeth. Tell your teeth. I forget. Beautiful. But we can't spend all afternoon looking at the marmots. We have to keep going. So, are you ready? Show me your muscles. We're going to climb again. This time, right to the top. Ready to keep climbing? Cape 
town waving in the wind from a building just down there. There's a shape on it. Hmm. Can you guess what that might be? Hmm, something flat and something big. You're right. It's Table Mountain. So popular is it, it's even on the flag of Cape Town. And oh, it can cool us down right now. <laughs> Have a rest, have a fan, and maybe we can make ourselves somewhere to stay. Now, Alexi Peskin also makes a beautiful piece of art, a log cabin. It will be a great place to have a rest. Let's paint our own one. Okay, get your wiggly fingers, a bit like a paintbrush, and paint a log cabin up one side, whoop, a nice roof, whoop, down the other side, whoop, one wall on this way, whoop, and don't forget the bottom, whoop. <laughs> and there's a door, shoo, shoo, shoo. get ready to push it open with a big creep. Beautiful. But it's empty. I wonder what we should put inside our comfy log cabin. I know someone who might know. <laughs> Let's call her. Oh, Georgie! Hi, hi Kate, Georgie! Hi, hi. <laughs> we had a lovely time at the top of Table oh, Mountain. Wasn't the view great? So nice. And now we're staying here to build our own log cabin, a bit like Alexi did in the art. Amazing. Now, Georgie, if you were to put your favourite things inside your log cabin, what kind of things would you pick? Ooh. Hmm. I think I would have a cup of tea. Oh, lovely. And maybe some of my painting things, so I could do some art from the top of the mountain. Brilliant. I love those ideas, Georgie. That's given us some ideas too. So we'll fill ours up and uh, thanks so much. Great thanks. to see you again. Bye, bye, bye. Bye, Georgie. Bye. Great ideas from Georgie. Um, I think in my cabin, I'd probably put my favourite biscuits <clears throat> and probably mm, a big comfy chair to sit in and relax. What about you? Can you take out your imaginary paper and your imaginary colours and just draw some pictures of some things that you would put in your special log cabin? Maybe your dog, cat, favourite toy, maybe someone from your family, maybe your favourite food. Let me have a look. Ooh, lovely ideas. So nice in our very own log cabin. Now, we've just made an imaginary one, but you could make your very own den. Oh, Georgie! I remember, a while ago now, do you remember, Georgie? We made a den. Oh, and we yeah. used some blankets and a couple of chairs and just a few things we found. And we made our very own den. Yeah. Maybe you can make your very own den at home. We had a great time and October came too. Thanks, Georgie. So, today, We've climbed up Table Mountain, travelled to Cape Town, made a log cabin, and had lots of fun. Oh, and don't forget those marmots, we'll get chief. <laughs> we didn't really travel to Cape Town. We just had a vision of where we wanted to go, and we used, do you remember that part of our brain we used? Our I I imagination. That's it. And we pretended. You can do anything when you use it. But for now, we better get back. Get back to October, Gary, where we're going to find out from Georgie some wonderful art we can do all about where we've been. So, get your spinning hands. Spin forwards and backwards. High, low, fast, slow. Close your eyes and count to three. One, two, three. Open your eyes. We're back in the October gallery. We're not pretending anymore, but you've been brilliant.
Cape Town explorers. Give yourselves a pat on your back and a shake of your hand. One thumb up, whoop, two thumbs up, whoop, and give yourselves an oh yeah. Well done to you. Now we're gonna hear from Georgie. See you soon, bye bye. Hi everybody. I know you've been on a great adventure with Danny up to the top of Table Mountain. And so now it's time to make some of our own artwork. We're gonna be inspired by the amazing work of Alexis Peskin. Um, what you'll need is a nice piece of black paper, black paper or card, and then from your recycling, if you could find some newspaper or even a magazine that you don't mind ripping up. Then you'll need a pencil, and from the bathroom, if you can find some cotton buds, usually they're used to clear out your ears, but we're gonna use them to paint with. So you'll need some paint. A little bit of white paint we're using, or maybe you have gold or silver paint. And you will need some Pritt stick too. Now, Alexi's work, most of them are beautiful, big portraits, like the one behind me. And we're gonna make an artwork that joins your journey together with a portrait of you. So, to start with, you might need a friend. I'm gonna ask my friend Antoinette. Hi Antoinette, I'm Sarah. Yay! So, Antoinette's gonna draw around my profile. So I'm gonna lie my face like this. And then Antoinette's gonna get the, maybe the chalk? Yeah? Yeah. Perfect. Wonderful. Amazing. Oh, perfect. Thank you very much. I don't know if you can see that. That's my big nose. And we're going to use this as our starting point. So follow me and join in. <laughs> 